Do your muscles are weak? Isn't your muscle growing even after hundreds of attempts? Remember, girls always like men with well-built muscles. Don't be scared. We are here to solve your problem. So today we will show you how you can make yourself attractive by increasing your muscles in a very short time. Watch the video to the end to increase muscle. Once upon a time, it seemed like only young men wanted to build muscle. That's definitely not the case any longer. But the more people there are who want it, the more people there are who are getting frustrated when the scale doesn't go up as they planned. If you've been working hard but not seeing any gains, you're probably making one or more of these eight mistakes. Number one, you don't train intensely enough. No, you don't have to bring each and every set of every exercise to failure and beyond with four straps and drop sets. But if you're serious about adding muscle, you must do some work that takes you close to the edge of your ability. If you're not struggling, it's safe to say you're probably not growing as much as you could. Lift with purpose and power. For at least one set per movement, go hard and heavy enough to challenge your body. If necessary, have a spotter close by. Number two, you keep adding volume and extra workouts. A more is better mentality is easy to slip into when swole is the goal, but it's not always helping you land the prize of size. If you're working out daily for double digit sets per body part, you'll quickly find that your workout intensity has to dial back accordingly. Or you get injured, start missing workouts, or just start hating your training. Sound familiar? Hit the gym three, four times a week, max, with a strict 45 minute time limit. While you're there, make the most of each minute. Get in and out of the gym in less than an hour with these popular muscle building programs. Number three, you isolate too much or too little. Don't get suckered in by the compound versus isolation debates online. You need both. Squats and dumbbell bench presses are among the best leg moves and best chest moves because you can move heavy weight and involve lots of muscle mass. Leg curls and cable fleas help hit the gaps left by big moves and allow you to safely push the intensity. Structure your routine to include a combination of multi-joint and single-joint exercises. As a rule, every workout should contain at least one or two big lifts and a single joint move. Number four, you're always chasing new maxes. Sure, that grinding deadlift single at 495 sounds awesome when you tell the story later, but was it more beneficial to your physique than pulling 405 for a hard eight reps? That's highly debatable, particularly if you had to break every form rule in the book to get the bar above your knees. Use our at base one megameter calculator to determine your lifting percentages rather than testing your max. Then look for ways to master heavy weights, not test them regularly. Number five, your grip is limiting your pulls. Most of us are limited by our grip strength when doing the best back exercises. As a result, the targeted muscles don't come close to reaching fatigue because the forearm muscles fail first. The result of you end up leaving a lot of muscle development on the table. Wear wrist straps. They're cheap, you can toss them in your gym bag, and you'll notice a difference from the very first back workout. Number six, you're not doing enough straight sets. Supersets, drop sets, compound sets, and other intensity boosters are valuable tools, but they're not your bread and butter for growth. They're better for advanced lifters or for when you're short on time. Sure, they'll make you feel fatigued and exhausted, but those aren't necessarily indicators of progress. Build most of your work in the gym around the basic 3-4 hard sets of 8-1-0 reps with a weight you could handle for 11-12th reps. Elite strength coach Charles Staley, the creator of the Total Body Strong program, has said that after three decades in the gym, his great regret in training is not doing more of those. Number seven, you're just not eating enough. Counting calories may actually be more important for someone trying to gain weight than trying to lose weight. Plenty of so-called hard gainers just think they're eating a lot, but a more objective measurement shows them where they're seriously lacking. Use a calorie calculator and set your goal to gain weight. Want to take it to the next level? Use a macronutrient calculator, too. Number 8. You're doing it all on your own. You have to do the heavy lifting literally. But if you don't have anyone to pepper with questions, to share in your triumphs, to vent to about your frustrations, this journey is a lot harder. Having a fitness community can make all the difference. Share your journey with other people who have the same goals. Not sure where to start? For over 20 years, members of Body Space have been helping each other build their best bodies. 
So there we have it. 8 things that may be why you do not see results at the gym. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, let us know in the comments below. Till then, stay with Health Coach.